Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Break It Out. Let's clear out the cloister. And we'll start here. The Glories of the Night Singer. A volume of Sharon hymns extolling the beauty of darkness, the comfort of nothingness, and the profundity of surrendering all to the Dark Lady. A bookmark highlights one such song. Lady Shar, Mother Night, her most solemn refrain. Against our will we were ripped from your breast, condemned to a world full of pain. Save us, O Nightsinger, extinguish the stars, grant us an eternal rest. Our faith is strong, blades are sharp, we long for your final test. Martial Catechism. Strengthening of the Sword Arm. Melee drills for two hours each day. Change opponents and weaponry for each round. Bloodletting is acceptable. Indeed, it is expected. Remember, a well-trained warrior has the scars to prove it. Coding of the Archer's Eye. Range drills for two hours each day. Targets will progress from fixed to moving to live. Hardening of the Poisoner's Heart. Crafting in theory of poisons and concoctions for two hours each day. People shall be dosed with low levels of poisonous substances in order to develop their tolerance. Lunar Dark Lies The scrolls filled with soothing, persuasive arguments, encouraging the sick at heart to turn themselves from Sahanan worship Oh, I was going to say to something. Uh, the Moon Maiden, as the goddess is called, whisper not but lies. No problem solved. Only a sense of fondness that is as cold as the lunar marina. Seas of empty pale dust, even that gradually fading for the worshipper. As an alternative, the scroll speaks of Shar, who whispers only truth. Her fondness is warm, unexpectedly so for a goddess of darkness, grief, and nihilism. But why should that be unexpected? The sick at heart will find only succor and blessings in the embrace of she who understands them best. Constellation of the Dark An introductory text explaining the allure and superiority of Shar above all other deities. All other so-called gods are liars and charlatans given to cheap tricks and easy answers. They seek to enthrall mortal hearts with promises that are beyond their ability to fulfill. Lady Shar does not do this. Her words are honest, and her gift is simple. Her embrace awaits, eternal darkness, the purest of nothingness, the end of all pain. It will come to us all, ultimately. Nothing else will matter, and it is this, the role of Lady Shar's children to hasten that understanding among the ignorant. When we carry out Lady Shar's holy work, must inevitably cause pain and suffering. It is only to reveal the truth. What we do is a kindness. I've seen Habits of Patriots before. Uh, Crimes of the Moon Maiden. The long list. Crimes of the Moon Maiden by the Anti-Lunar League. <laughs> Woe unto any who throws their lot in with Salune. Uh, four ways she is of pulling the wool over one's eyes. First, she can make you think your husband is a werewolf when he's only forgotten to shave. Second, she's always changing, making it difficult for slow painters to capture her likeness. 
Third, tides. Absolutely buggered the tides. Fourth, people keep associating the moon with femininity, and frankly we're fed up reading the same poetry over and over. It's all that celestial bent Saluna's fault. <laughs> You know, I think I'm gonna go back to the Devotee's Mace. She'll use Jahira's shield, not Jahira, um, Iconia's shield. I swear I've seen her walk around with a mace that glows green instead of with the uh, holy light. It's hitting her uh, character arc. There's a lot going on in here. I guess we'll start with the big pile of stuff on this side. There's a gap behind those crates. Big enough to fit through. Oh, we can't read that. Now, artifact mission, agent roster. I think we've read this, right? Yeah. I 
bunch of night orchids. A little hideaway. Why does this place seem so familiar? Oh, you do like night orchids. I'm assuming this is why. Or she planted them here, but I assume that they grow here naturally because it is called the Night Orchid Cave. Stained book. They heap precious pelf upon the altar as if it were nothing. The door wants gold, trinkets, baubles of mammon. Okay, hastily written note. She's gonna make me look in the mirror again. She's gonna take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers. I like animals. My name is... The writing breaks off with a jagged scrawl, as if interrupted. A mirror that steals memories. Very Sharon. <laughs> it is very Sharon. I feel like the Sharans have to constantly tell their mom that it's not just a phase. It's not a phase, mom. This is my life. Nocturne. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're alright. I don't remember you. Oh. Pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. I uh, say nothing. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you. Even if it angers Lady Shah. That's... good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as Quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Thanks. She's not as brave. She just stood up to Shard to not attack Shadowheart. Greetings. Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Alright, uh, let me see your wares. What do we got? Not a whole lot. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. Okay. Hey, her journal. 
Really? There we go. The other entries of this journal have been erased or heavily redacted before settling into a normal rhythm. I am Nocturne. I think is her. I see her when I look in the mirror. I can't remember the last time someone called me by the wrong name. Shadowheart has been swift to gently correct slips of the tongue, even swifter in challenging those who'd use my forsworn name in malice. I'm lucky to have her as a friend. They took Shadowheart's memories again, more than they took before. But I know what to do now. I know she'll be frightened, that she won't remember much, not even me. And take her to our hideaway, and remind her of herself. I'm getting better at it each time. I love seeing that look in her eyes when she finally remembers me. Why must the Mother Superior do this to her? Why must she grind her under heel like she does to no other? They're grooming her for a mission, and will soon take her away her memories again. I need to see her again while she still remembers me. I need to tell her to stay safe, and that I'll see her again. It's been days, and no word. Shadowheart and the others could be alive or dead. Even the Mother Superior does not seem to know. I'm sick with worry. I can't even bear to write anymore. read this as well. Maybe not. A Sprinter's Guide to Goblins by Colin Meringa? Meringu? Uh, let's talk goblinoids. Your standard goblin is well armored and conniving. While not the best strategists, they're deadly in bigger groups. Hobgoblins are where the species get disciplined. Smarter, stronger, and as mean as a bag of hedgehogs. Hobgoblins are natural leaders for their kin. Bugbears are as tough as ogres, only shrewder. They can be unnervingly quiet when they want to. Avoid these sloopy bruisers. Me? Har. I avoid them all, chum. And no price too high. Years have passed, and still she refuses to be easily molded into what Lady Shar wishes her to be. She questions my teachings, hesitates when she should be pitiless, and longs to venture the world like some guileless animal. So often, her behavior makes a mockery of the name she has adopted, Shadowheart. That Lady Shar believes that she shall one day become the perfect embodiment of her will makes my gorge rise. Have I not proven myself worthy? Did I not sacrifice everything in order to please the Nightsinger? I built something great in her honor in Waterdeep. All gone now. Those who followed me have been embraced, and I am left with honing a child of the moon jerks followers in Lady Shar's right hand. I will not give up. I will remake her, or I will break her. The Nightsinger shall know who is her most loyal servant, one way or another. Interrogation Log A log of interrogation notes detailing a Githyanki captive's torture over a number of days. The captive remains strong at first, but very gradually starts to slip and offer up information about the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Blacketh. Githyanki. Part of the Sharan's preparations to seize the Astral Prism, no doubt. Service of the night. It has been years since Waterdeep, since Asolda Nestelar. At last, the trail's gone cold enough so that I may recommend, yeah, re recommence Lady Shar's holy work. It is true that secrecy is the greatest shield of all. If the sacrifices needed for this new beginning have been steep, it had better prove to be worth it. Baldur's Gate. It feels strange to be back in this place. So familiar, 
but I cannot engage with it. I'm like a living ghost, hidden and watching. Time has rushed past like an autumn storm. Lady Shar's church in Baldur's Gate grows steadily, and in secret, under my command. I have named it the Cloister of Somber Embrace, for the Night Singer's embrace is the final goal that we all crave. One day, this place could even surpass what I created in Waterdeep. Yet by then, it may not be mine to command. Lady Shar tells me that there is another, one I must pry from a foul Salunite heritage, and reshape to become Darkness's champion. An audacious plan, one that could cost me everything. I must stay resolute. I must find this child for Lady Shar. My spies have reported to me. The child has been found. A girl with hair of sheerest black. Who will soon come of age and be lost to the moon jerk forever. But our plan is in motion. Under a cloak of darkness, the girl shall be soon be ours. Let's say moon witch instead. Justicia Helm. I wanted one of my own so badly. Hard to imagine now. These jewels. Why do I remember these of all things? A gift from Solda Nessela, Mother Superior said. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. High security vault number 8 key. Clasping this key flips the pit of one's stomach, filling it with a feeling of emptiness. No, that's not the mirror of loss. Was that it, door wise? What's next? Well, let's have Shadowheart talk to Nocturne. Got to see if there's any information we can gleam. I'd better do the talking. I can still scarcely believe it. You've returned, and the Mother Superior is gone. So much can change so quickly. Interesting. Are you just going to remain here? There's no need. Konya is gone. Remains to be seen. This place is all I've ever known. In time, perhaps I'll venture out there. See what I've been missing. But for now, old habits die hard. As much I still can't remember. Can you share anything with me? From when we were young. Well, you had a pet mouse for a while. It was against the rules, of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. Did he have a name? <laughs> Nibbles. I suggested Bree, but you were having none of it. She caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in front of everyone. To make an example. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. Just reinforces that killing Viconia was the right call. I don't suppose there are any pleasant memories you could share. Well... You know that little scar on your elbow? Uh, go on. I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two, and most of them were bigger than us to boot, but you saw them off, all of them. There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. What about the scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Buddock. She came away from it worse than you. She was on the same mission as you. I suppose she won't be coming back. In any case, the Mother Superior soon broke up the fighting, though she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. Anything else? 
Just small things, silly things. The sort you'd scarcely recall even if your memories were left intact. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk, play, read, do each other's hair. I think I found the place you mean. Behind a storage area. You'd be the first. As quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there, exactly as you left it. From what you said before, you're the one responsible for my hair. The plat and fringe? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. I like the new look as well, though. You always did like a dramatic touch. All's well that ends. Not okay. As bad as See if we can't find Shadowheart's parents. Though I'd be surprised when if they kept them alive this long. Me. But I guess they were Salunites, so having the option to torture them indefinitely would like, be in Shari's wheelhouse. A pyre of loss, alright. Mess with that. There we go. After I moved something on the altar. Loss of status? Wealth? Okay, I guess just turning off the brazier did it. We got a uh, stone inscription. A simple note is scratched into the stone. Treasured in light, lost in dark. Well, I'll hold on to that just in case. Captives of Shar. The ledger bearing the names of those incarcerated in the Chamber of Loss. Some are noted to have died. Rask Lear Githyanki, double guard at all times, deceased. Arno Hollowleaf, Emmeline Hollowleaf, Baron Alice Barmel, deceased. Unknown interloper, deceased. The Shadow Heart must be a Hollowleaf. I see them. I see my parents. God, what's been done to them? Probably nothing good. Or anything worth dwelling on. We'll start with that. Music is getting pretty intense. Anything that I can do. Oh, here we go. You can't be another vile trick. No, there is no trick. It's her, Jennifer, Jan, our little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace, it is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. never where my power resided. Every time you tried to step away from me, every time you tried to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites 
deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. You're a monster, not a goddess. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room. The dreamless sleep. The shadow's shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer. Until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here! I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured. To see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. I do like the touch of the Shadow Hearts are half elf, so her father's an elf, her mother's a human. And they've been here for 40 years, so it makes sense that her mother would have aged much more significantly than the father. So that was a Nice little detail. Yeah, talk to your mother and father. See what they wish. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this was happening until it was much too late. I came to try to put things right. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was. And still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. Yeah, this choice, this is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what is right. I didn't come this far just to give up at the final hurdle. We're leaving this place together. I'm going to take care of you. Our time has passed, Genevelle. You must not let us burden you. You're no burden. You're my strength. I think I know where my willful side comes from now. But... Hush, Arnel. Jen wants her family. Jen shall have her family. How can we help, dear?
Get out of this place as soon as your strength allows. There's a camp. You'll be safe there. Everything that's happened... Shah... My parents... It's almost too much to take in. Give me a night... to try and get my head together. Well, we need to take a long rest anyway. Use up a lot of resources against uh, Viconia and the Sharans. Baron Bormo's Will. This ragged sheet is the last will and testament of Baron Alice Bormo, written in what looks like dried blood. It leaves all her worldly possessions to her beloved daughter, Bobi Bormo. Maybe it's Vibi, because it's spelled like Phoebe. Save the Mirror of Loss for last. That's lame. Yankee, head removed. They tortured her for information, then made sure the corpse couldn't help anyone else. Subject mapping results, Githyanki number seven. A log of interrogation notes detailing a Githyanki captive's torture over a number of days. Captain remains strong at first, very gradually starts to slip and offer up information about the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Vlacketh. Kinda lame that was the same description that we found in the interrogation log. loss a huge polished disc looms before you a mirror one used by the Sharans to plunder memories from the minds of others this feels familiar to me somehow I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before many times perhaps Uh, offer a prayer to the mirror. You feel a presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. Um, I don't know that I would do this, but I'm interested. And I'm not sure what asking the other check does. Gaze into the mirror, intent on offering it one of your memories. The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. 
Your thoughts, feelings, memories, they grow slow and drowsy, drifting away from each other. You must surrender some part of yourself. But what? Uh, yeah, why not? It looks like you have to give up one of your attributes, but kind of try and deceive it. You will not surrender any part of yourself. Invent a false offering to trick the mirror. Go. To your surprise, the false memory is accepted. It fades from your mind as easily as it was conjured forth. A foreign sensation assails you. For a moment, you do not feel like yourself. A jumble of memories clamor for your attention. They range from ancient to new. But none are yours. Whatever power lurks deeper in the recesses of the mirror has no interest in you. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. Okay, what did it do? The huge mirror stares down at you like a great dark eye. Can we do this again? I don't know what it does. The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. Your thoughts, feelings, memories, they grow slow and drowsy, drifting away from each other. You must surrender some part of yourself. But what? Oh, I can't back up now. Oh no! Uh, but I don't know what it does. Am I just gonna lose something? I mean, I don't need intelligence. Surrender valued knowledge gleaned from books, scrolls, tablets. Or has it left a mark on your mind, but no more? Something precious was surrendered. Already you cannot recall its exact nature, but you feel its loss all the same. Still though, for whatever was lost, something new shall be gained. A foreign sensation assails you. I've already listened to this. And floods your mind. You were sure to succeed, Stalmate, but Lord Enver Gortash has stolen your support. All that charming and cajoling in the parlors of the upper city wasted. The memory fades away, yet it leaves its mark on your mind. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. The stolen vigor. Your intelligence score is reduced by two. Oh, it's a curse. Well, guess what? Suck <laughs> on that mirror. So, we fix that. Oh. I see, so we have plus one from Patriarch's memory. We got that from the mirror just now. So is it dependent on what you give up? Determines what you get? I'm assuming the Patriarch was uh, the um, formal skeleton that we found. So charisma breaks it down where your points come from. So does constitution.
But this one doesn't break down where I get my points from. It doesn't have the elixir listed or anything. But at the bottom here it says 15 base plus 1 from class and plus 1 from patriarch's memory. And here it's 13 base and then plus 1 from resilient constitution up to 20. Huh. I'm assuming we could do it again. Can we get plus 1 to everything and just keep removing the curse? Quick save and find out. The huge mirror stares down at you like a great dark eye. Also, I'm guessing we can't trick it into taking away a point of strength from the elixir that we have, right? The mirror's emptiness seems to be skip ahead. some part of yourself. But what? Uh... Yeah, I mean, we have an odd number right now anyway. Uh, give away memories of when your charm stood to you, the applause of the swayed, the smiles of the beguiled, the kisses of the seduced. You feel parts of your own being take flight from you. Is this what Shadowheart experienced when she surrendered her memories? Still though, for whatever was lost, something new shall be gained. You feel the presence of something ancient and unknowable. It has taken notice of you. It seems to be intrigued by you. Where once the mirror showed nothing, there is now something. Memories, experiences, skills, all prized from the minds of others, and now offered to you to choose from. Oh, we get to choose now. Is it because it was a primary attribute? I think this should be loath, not loath. Um, we have an odd amount of uh, charisma right now, so warm to the guile of a bard who could charm even a dragon. Adoring looks, fawning laughter, and nods of agreement to your constant companions. Is there anything a quick tongue and a warm smile cannot achieve? The memory fades away, yet it leaves its mark on your mind. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. They keep saying that, I'm assuming that we couldn't use it again, but... I'm ready. We definitely can. So if we look here... Yeah, if he's got another plus two... <laughs> Should we just keep doing it? We just keep removing the curse. I mean, we should probably take a long rest so I get my remove curse back. But my faith will guide me. We still have a few more castings of it. <laughs> the huge Let's keep on going. Stares down at you like a great dark eye. Your mind still reels from what you have already received from the mirror. You cannot partake again. Okay. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant. All right, so you can only do it the two times. You get the plus one and then the uh, plus two. Well darn, if I knew the second was plus two, I should have given it to my strength instead. I have an odd amount of charisma, which I'm not excited about. But neat. That was a fun little thing. I think roleplay-wise, I probably shouldn't have done it, but... Oh well. Curiosity killed the cat and all that. Well, we'll leave this area, we'll go back to camp, and, um... We'll rest next time and speak to Shadowheart and her parents, who should also be back at camp. Okay, I'm going to call it here, and next time we'll head back to camp. Speak to... Oh, 
Oh, that's where we just came from. I was, I was confused for a second. Um, Still breathing. Back Despite to camp. Everything. We'll speak to Shadowheart's parents and then Shadowheart herself, and then continue exploring the city. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.